Come on, honey, you can do it. Just think about what you're supposed to say. No, I can't. I'll never remember. Yes, you will. It's just one line. I hunt tigers to feed my family. You think that's tough? You ought to try writing a humor column. <laughs> We're rehearsing a school play. I'll never get it. Yes, you will. Daddy will help us. Uh, no, Beth, the game's still on. It's just a commercial. Oh, sorry, Willie. Daddy doesn't want to miss a commercial. <laughs> okay, but I won't know what kind of beer to buy. <laughs> okay, um, I'll narrate, and you come in and act out the parts. Okay. Um, here comes the woolly mammoth. That's not how they walk. Yeah, Dave. <laughs> I am a mammoth. Wooly. Wooly mammoth. And, and then it does a little dance. It doesn't say. <laughs> uh, and uh, now the tiger comes in. Yeah, and he sees the mammoth and he roars at him. <laughs> and he runs after him. Right, and he catches him. <laughs> Brave caveman. <laughs> Willie? What? I hunt tigers to feed my family? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're good, Dave. <laughs> The Berry family is under the weather. We have the flu. I don't know if this particular strain has a name, but if it does, it must be something like Martian death flu. The main symptom is that you wish you had another setting on your electric blanket, a past high, one that says, electrocute. You're not sicker than I am. Kleenexes? Four. Eight. <laughs> and that doesn't even count the three that walked away. <laughs> Enough. You can give in to it if you want. I have to get up. No, Beth. We need to take the day off. Oh, great. Who's going to get the kids ready for school? They have to take the day off, too, so they don't get a day smarter than us. <laughs> I can't find my other sneaker. I think we're safe. <laughs> hey, Tommy, you really can't find one of his sneakers. Sometimes it's in my trash can. <laughs> I don't understand it either. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, bud, but I think your fish dried up. That's my new pet. Wow. Pet dirt. <laughs> no. It's a sandfish. I got it from Scott Clark. What's a sandfish? That's what's in there. It's this really neat lizard. It's called a sandfish because it lives under the sand. <laughs> it's in there now? Sure. Have you ever seen it? No. How did you get it? I traded my baseball glove for him. 
Congratulations, son. You have the berry head for business. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. You won't forget your line. I've got an idea. Okay. What's this? I go. No, no, not that. <laughs> no, see, I'm I'm sick. Now, what's this? I. Yes. Okay. What's this? Hunt. See, I hunt. Spiders. <laughs> Tigers to feed my family. Okay, now let's give it a try. I hunt tigers uh. to feed my family. Yes! Now just do that. Just watch me and you won't forget. Will you be in the front? Absolutely. I'll have the paramedics wheel me in. <laughs> I'm not feeling well. I'm going back to bed. Oh, honey, I need you to help me make the boys breakfast. I made toast. But it's raw. <laughs> I didn't have the strength to push the thing down. <laughs> honey, how sick are you? How sick do I have to be? I just want to know if I need to think about dating soon. You know, you're not as sympathetic as other women. Yeah. Mom, what's for breakfast? Cereal. There's no milk. Cereal's so good, dry. There's no cereal. Oh, I'll drive to the store and get some. Drive, Dave. You can't operate a toaster. I'll go. Take me to school, please. You haven't eaten yet. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Dave, you get Willie ready for school, okay? But check him this time. Last time you, you sent him in pajamas. <laughs> They were his pajamas. <laughs> I get no credit around here. <laughs> well, yeah, Kenny, the, the column's done. Of course it's done. Yeah, it's right here. You want to hear it? <laughs> Doesn't that sound funny, huh? <laughs> No, no, don't come get it, because then you'll catch my flu, and then you'll infect others, and then in a couple of days, the entire city will be dead. <laughs> uh-huh, that's what happened to the Mayans. <laughs> uh, okay, bye. Where's your other sneaker? I don't know. Is this the one I found? Yes. Then where's the one you had? I lost it. Go up to your brother's room and look in the trash can. Okay. Hey, Willie, you still here? Mom's gone and we have no food. <laughs> Go check the garbage for your shoe. You really run a tight ship here, don't you? Dave, he's gonna be late for school. Oh, no, he might fall behind in sock puppets. <laughs> Get over here. What are you doing? It's a thermometer. Tommy told Carly that you were really sick. The next time you put something in my ear, I expect dinner and a movie. <laughs> You're not that sick, Dave. The thermometer says 99.9. .9. Believe me, I'm dying. Here, these were free. Here, take two of these. Uh, are these going to make me dizzy and lightheaded? No. Then forget it. <laughs> You never change. Any excuse to sit around and watch TV. Hey, I am a journalist. I have to keep up with world events. The Mazda Women's Pro Beach Challenge? <laughs> it's the finals. Hey, hey, I think I did her. You know, Shell, that phrase just isn't the same since you became a plastic surgeon. <laughs> Oh, yippee! <laughs> Uncle Cheryl, want to watch me do my line? Sure, Willie. Dad? Yeah? The signals? Oh, oh yeah, okay. Um. Uh, uh, I? I. Uh, and something that I don't remember that means hunt. <laughs> oh. Gun. No, gun? Cavemen couldn't have guns. They had that 20,000-year waiting period. <laughs> okay, okay, I... I hunt... spiders. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> You're doing it all wrong. Okay, all right, okay. I hunt... Harlow. Mommy! 
shot. Oh, Beth, you look terrible. It finally hit me in the grocery store. I had to leave. The last thing I heard was clean up on aisle nine. <laughs> Beth, w wait a minute. Run, Beth, run! <laughs> No, 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 no. Come here, fella. Come on. Come on. No, no. You gotta leave Mom alone. She's real sick. Will she be okay tonight? She has to do the hand signals. I'll be there, Willie. I'll do the signals. I'm sick! I'm sick, too! <laughs> Beth? Huh? I was thinking of making you some soup. Thank you. But then I noticed that we're out. <laughs> That's okay. But I did find a can of mandarin orange slices. <laughs> no, thank you. Beth? Huh? Why do we have a can of mandarin orange slices? Chinese chicken salad. Oh, oh. You want one of those? Dave, I can't eat anything anyway. I just need to rest, okay? Oh, yeah, you rest. I'll take care of everything. This is just like a four-hour bug, right? <laughs> Dave, I... I just need to sleep it off, please, so I can make it to the play tonight. No, uh, I'm gonna go to the play tonight. I'll give Willie his signals. Sick as I am. <laughs> Oh, Dave, he's scared. You gotta sit in the front row. You gotta know the hand signals. <laughs> Don't die, E.T. <laughs> You're not funny. Knock, knock. Hey, Dave, Willie said you were up here. I brought soup. Beth sick? I thought you were. She lapped me. <laughs> Beth? Beth? Uh? I brought soup. Hey, that's my soup. <laughs> Dave, Beth is sick. <laughs> Beth, soup. You need to build up your strength. Uh. Are you sure? It has coconut. <laughs> uh. You brought me coconut soup? <laughs> yeah, with big mushroom caps. <laughs> Why do you think I would like coconut mushroom soup? Try it. It has curry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Beth. Let me bring you something else. You like clam chowder? <laughs> what do you say, Ken, downstairs? Hey, I've never been in your guy's bedroom before. It's weird being in a friend's bedroom, huh? I mean, it's just a room, but you look at the bed and you go, wow, that's where they... <laughs> okay, listen, I gotta go downstairs. <laughs> so what about it, Dave? Do you have the column? Yeah, I got the column. It's a little rough, though. It's okay. All right, it might need a polish. I'll fix it up. Did I mention that I've been sick? <laughs> you remember that movie that came out, Turner and Hooch? I hate that movie. <laughs> what, you liked it? <laughs> forget it, forget it. We'll rerun an old column. I like the one about the White House barber. That's Art Bookwald. <laughs> really? Hey, he's funny. <laughs> okay, I'll go right. Sheesh. 
and stop smirking. <laughs> Tell you not to be late for Willie's play. Yeah, yeah, okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Why? Because you just wrote 79 pages of the letter K. <laughs> K is funny. <laughs> hey, Dad, you're burning up. Really? Huh. I knew I wasn't faking. <laughs> you're really sick. You are always my favorite. <laughs> Willie, please go to the play with Uncle Shell. It's okay that you can't find your sneakers. I bet you there were a lot of cavemen that didn't have sneakers. <gasps> You're not in my room, but I found my Game Boy. <laughs> you got there, Tommy. Video games, puzzles, comics. You really love the theater, don't you? <laughs> Willie, you can wear my slippers. <gasps> I, I bet Uncle Cheryl would let you wear his shoes. <gasps> they, they're Italian. <laughs> See, they're Italian. <laughs> Carly, stop blowing the horn. I'll be right out. Okay, let's go, pal. They're waiting for us. <sighs> you know, I hear this is how they got Helen Hayes to the theater every night. <laughs> uh. They left? Uh-huh. That was nice as shell. Uh-huh. Did you show him Willie's hand signals? Wait, where are we going? We have to go stop Shell. They left ten minutes ago. Thank God, I can't move. <laughs> Poor Willie. Oh, it'll be okay. The audience will take pity on him because he's an orphan. <laughs> Is it that a watched pot never boils? Actually, I think it's a washed pot that never boils. Ah, then it should just take a minute. <laughs> Mom! In here, sweetie. Oh, look at you. Oh. Mommy, I did great. You did? See, I told you you would. I knew it all along. I hunt tigers to feed my <laughs> I got to get a picture of you. A star is born. <laughs> so, Tommy, how'd it go? Well, I got 3,000 points on Dragon Slayer. <laughs> it's a hit. <laughs> Want some cocoa? I've got to get my mealworms. Uh, you know, traditionally, we put marshmallows on top. <laughs> I've got to feed my sandfish. Tommy, are you really sure there's a sandfish in there? Sure. Have you ever seen him? Not yet. Well, then why do you believe he's in there? I can just tell. Plus, I put in these mealworms. And later, they're gone. Some religions have lasted centuries on less than that. <laughs> Willie, Daddy and I are very sorry that we couldn't be at your play tonight. It's okay if you're mad at us for not going. But we really want you to know that we wanted to be there. Guess what? Susie Murphy threw up everywhere. He did that all day and he didn't get excited. <laughs> so, how was it? Well, actually, it, it wasn't everywhere. It was just in one small section oh. of the state. <laughs> it was long. Very, very long. Uh, kindergarten through sixth grade doing the history of the world. Uh, about the only thing that they left out was the invention of new coke. 
How'd Willie do? He did great. Really? Oh, yep. He stepped up, delivered his line, civilization advanced. <laughs> Is that tape for me? Yes, and I want you to know that I taped over Pom Pom Vacation Girls for you. <laughs> I'm divorced. Don't judge me. <laughs> Thanks, Jill. All right. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Isn't that great? All that worry, and it turned out he didn't need us there after all. Thanks a lot. What? It's like watching that pot boil. Maybe if I keep staring at him, he'll never grow up. I'm sorry. Thanks. Do you know what for? No. <laughs> Good try, though. I can't believe you're happy that he doesn't need us. Isn't that a good thing? No, it isn't. I hate it. When Tommy stopped needing me every second, I still had Willie who did. And now that Willie's starting not to, I get to be sad about it, even though you have the sensitivity of a serial killer. <laughs> Sweetheart, I wouldn't be packing him off to that college dorm just yet. What? Uh -oh. <laughs> Mommy, I went to bed. It's okay. <laughs> I'll get fresh sheets. And a towel. Yeah. Where are the sheets? Third shelf hall closet. And, and the towels are under the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Having the flu has given me some time to think and some time to hallucinate. One of the things I thought about is the big irony of parenthood. How the better we do our jobs, the less our kids need us to do our jobs. We're designed for planned obsolescence. I hunt tiger to feed my family. But then again, maybe it's not so ironic. Maybe the truth is, it's not that if we do our jobs well, our kids don't need us to be there. It's that they know we're there anyway, even when they can't see us. <laughs>